I am Gail Martin. I am president of Mississippi Beef Council, representing 17,000 beef producers across Mississippi. We're here today at the second annual uh, Beefing Up the Bulldogs, uh, which is a program that is done by the beef producers in Mississippi to really bring uh, the attention to the beef producers in Mississippi by these team members. Uh, we appreciate what Mississippi State does for us, and we're glad that we're being able to be a part of this. And we hope that we can have an impact on these players to, to show them how important agriculture is to Mississippi, and especially the beef industry. If you think of it like a drinking straw, yeah. if it's full of, full, of, full of Coke and you want to get it out, you've got to grab that whole straw and strip it out. Same way with his teeth. If you just grab the edge of it, you're not going to do nothing. But if you'll grab the whole thing and then just slide your fingers down. I want to see that drink it, drink. Yeah, you got to drink it. Hey, she don't like that, bro. She don't. Oh, she ain't going to bother you. She's going to kick your ass. She's going to kick my She kicked backwards. She wouldn't kick forward, so you say. Cam Lawrence here at the uh, second annual Beefing Up the Bulldogs. Just getting big, getting swole, drinking my Mississippi State milk. Number one reason I came to Mississippi State is our milk, best in the country. Uh, but having a good time eating steaks, getting ready to roll. So you got to grab the bottom and squeeze the top, huh? You squeeze the top and then just keep your fingers together and slide it down the teeth. <laughs> it's just milk. Look, it's just warm. No others are drinking. Drink it, quiet. Drink it. Damn, hurt you. Tastes just like milk, don't it? Like milk, man. It's it's just warm. Just warm. Just warm. It's like the old bread. My man, so I so I can milk it. Great event here with the Cattlemen's Association. Uh, they approached us last year about this. Uh, a little skeptical at first in reality, taking our guys to the farm. You know, they're going to let us play with some of the animals. Our guys loved it last year. Uh, these guys provided us unbelievable food. Uh, the, the animals, that the interaction that these guys got to have with them was unbelievable. This year they approached us again. I jumped at the chance. I said, yeah, you guys did a great job. Unfortunately, this year we had to come to the Bryan building, couldn't go back out to the farm like we did last year. And uh, But once again, great successful event. Uh, they came in, unbelievable food again that they prepared for the team. They even brought a dairy cow down, they brought some uh, straw bales that we could toss around, see who kind of the strongest bulldog is here after eating some steaks. We'll get a few guys out there, they'll be trying to milk a cow. So once again, you know, two years in a row, wonderful event put on by the Cattlemen's Association, Mississippi Dairy Sciences and everything, that everybody that's a part of this great event that they all put on. And, uh, you know, we can't, we can't thank them enough for everything they do, both uh, as a university group and uh, as fans that help support the board. Mm, my name is Marcus Green. This is why I came back to Mississippi State. I'm enjoying Mississippi State ice cream. I really appreciate uh, the Calumans for all their support and uh, beefing us up after two long weeks of camp. Thank you. And here's Nick Griffin, future Olympian. Nick, you just got done with your Olympic hay toss. How does it feel to be a silver medalist? Uh, you know, I've been working hard all this time. You know what I'm saying? There's four years coming for this. And uh, I just I want to thank my teammates. They've been pushing me. This one, this one for y'all. This one for y'all. Hell's thing, baby. I just need them to make sure they move all them cars out of the way because when I throw it, 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 may, it may damage somebody's car. <laughs> Yeah, that ain't nothing. It about that far. Let's go. Danico, that was a massive failure in the eyes of your teammates. How do you talk about that? Uh, still, things happen. All right, make them roll, man. They're doing it, Sandals, Caleb. Second straight year, Caleb Ewells appears to have won. Caleb, what's your secret behind your success? Just no secret, just going to be many more years of winning. You better be
Yo, this is Devin Jones, and we're over here with the Mississippi State Bulldogs. We eating beef. And you know what I always say? It's beef. It's what's for dinner. If you don't like that, you can't see it. Hold on, just one Well, I, I can't tell you how I treat other cows because I'm currently in a relationship with this one. I thought you weren't ready for a relationship but, with this one. I don't know. You know, I, I just feel like I'm. Mean, it's just a different vibe with her, you know. Her name is Magnolia. She's two years old. Is she two years old? She's two years old and she's um seven months pregnant. I don't know who's the father, but we will find okay. out. She doesn't know either. We will find out very, very soon. And if you just come, just come, come, come around, come around, come around. And look at her. Do you see her bangs? She has a bang. That is beautiful to me. She has earrings and a necklace. And a necklace that I bought her from um, Valentine's Day. No, it wasn't Valentine's Day. I think it was her birthday. It, it was her birthday. Bert. It was her birthday. I got it from Kay's Jewelers. Every kiss begins with K. And she, we. Well, she needs to kiss. She still got to see. She her needs to kiss. Her. I'm not gonna kiss her until we get married. <laughs> <laughs> Don't hurt the baby! Stop! <laughs> Rub a <gym> <laughs> You don't want to touch no more. <laughs>